we talk about unreached people, we're talking about those people who live in parts of the world where they have very little or maybe even no opportunity to hear about the gospel of Jesus Christ. These are the parts of the world that are dominated by Islam or by Buddhism or by Hinduism. We know that it's important for people to actually hear the word of Christ, given that faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of Christ. I think if you were to visit Africa and the Middle East, some of the first things that would strike you really are, is the poverty, the crowded streets, um, just the struggle that people face in their daily lives. People uh, struggle to send their children to school, there's very little medicine, there's not clean water, even the communities themselves are very dangerous and unsafe. Uh, that's why to us sharing the gospel in those areas is so important. Many of these people just don't have the opportunity to hear the gospel. But in many cases also there's a lot of social or family pressures on people that keeps them from really giving the gospel a hearing. They're too afraid of their families, afraid to perhaps read a Bible or, or hear a Christian message on the radio. There are so many unreached people that still haven't heard the good news because of the caste system. There are theological obstacles. Muslims, for example, simply cannot accept the divinity of Christ, or they cannot accept the fact that he died on the cross, or that he is literally the Son of God. So these are huge theological obstacles to overcome in proclaiming the gospel to these people. We are able to share the gospel to the unreached people that come from different castes by using various means such as TV program, drama, songs, dance. In places where radio is forbidden, for example in Ethiopia, that we'll use generators and mobile film projectors and actually take the gospel out to rural villages where people maybe have never heard the word. Uh, in some of those villages people have not even seen a moving picture. So the message is very powerful when it, when it reaches those areas. Um, in other places like in Lebanon uh, where Islam dominates, it's very difficult to go out and share the gospel personally or with a mass rally. So in places like that we rely on radio to really reach people where they can hear and reflect on God's Word more in the privacy of their own homes. You know, a lot of these people around the world are living in fear. They're really living lives in fear. They're, fear of, they're in fear of these spirits that are out there to get them at every turn if they offend them, these forces that are around them all the time. Or maybe they're in fear of what's next, what happens after this life. Have they done enough? Are they good enough? 
and their religious systems simply leave them with doubt or with uncertainty. But we have a message that Jesus Christ died for all. The scripture says he died for all. It says, for God so loved the world. And so this is a message that is meant for all people of every language, of every tribe, of every nation, of every people everywhere, this message of the gospel. Lutheran Hour Ministries is able to work in many places where a foreign missionary could not go because we carry out our ministry with indigenous staff and volunteers who know the language and are cultural insiders. Help Lutheran Hour Ministries reach some of the 2.85 billion people in the world who do not have a meaningful opportunity to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. They are lost in the darkness of their sins and do not have the good news that the God who created them loves them and has provided for their salvation by sending His Son, Jesus Christ. They too can enjoy a life of freedom from sin and experience the power of forgiveness in their lives.